In this video, I will be going over possessive adjectives for French. This might look a little bit intimidating because there's so many more possessive adjectives in French than in English, but once you get the hang of it, it will be a lot easier. So, in French, the pronoun that you use depends not only on the owner of the object, but also the noun or the object that the owner possesses. So if the owner is je, before a singular noun that is masculine, we would use mon. Before a feminine noun, we would use ma. Or if the feminine noun starts with a vowel sound, we would use mon. Before a plural noun, we would use me. And all of these, mon, ma, and me, all mean my in English. Now if the owner is tu, before a singular noun that is masculine, we would use ton. A feminine noun, we would use ta, and before a plural noun, te, and all these ton, ta, te mean your in English. Il, el, il, el, and on have the same possessive adjectives, and before a singular noun that's masculine, we would use son. Before a feminine noun, we would use sa, and before a plural noun, we would use se. And these words translate into his, her, and its. Now, if the owner is nous, before a singular noun, <coughs> we would use notre. <coughs> before, before a plural noun, we would use non, and both of these words mean our in English. Notice how for nous, it doesn't matter whether or not the noun is masculine or feminine, we would always use notre. Now for vous, it's similar, except for before a singular noun, we would use votre, and vos for a plural noun. For il and elle plural, we would use leur before a singular noun, and leur before a plural noun. Now notice that it's just an added s, and you don't pronounce it differently. So let's practice a little bit. For the first one, this is my bag. So since the owner is je, we would have one that starts with an M. And then since sac is masculine, we would have sim mon sac. For the next one, his dog is small. So since the owner is il, we have a possessive adjective that starts with S, and since chien is masculine, we have son chien. I love our house. So the possessive adjective corresponds to an owner, nous. So j'aime, possessive adjective that starts with N, and since maison is singular, we have notre. And remember, for nous, it doesn't matter whether or not the noun is feminine or masculine for singular. We always use notre. Now the next one. They do their homework every day. The owner of the homework is il. So we have one that starts with l, e, u, r, and then since Homework is plural, we have an S. Now, the next three are a little bit trickier. This is my friend. Okay, so the owner is me, so I start with an M. But even though this word ami is feminine, since ami starts with a vowel sound, we have to use the masculine possessive adjective anyway, so c'est mon ami. And the next one, Philip brings his car. So we know that the car belongs to Philip, which means that it starts with an S. Even though Philip is a guy, the noun is the part that determines the actual noun or possessive adjective. So for voiture, this word is feminine, so we would have sa voiture, even though it belongs to a guy. And for the next one, Anne loves her pen. 
even though Anne is a girl, Stilo is masculine. So we have Anne M. Son Stilo.